Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Rogue Galaxy. In the last video, they told us Captain Dorgan Goa finally woke up. I wonder if everyone's already gathered. That's what he said, dude. Why would he say something other than what's going on? He hasn't really... Well, I mean, they, they kind of lied to you. Alright, up we go. Time to meet Dorgan Goa. Who I've never seen. Hey, Jaster. Quite a promotion, huh? I hear this next mission is all yours. Papa's usually not one to trust people. Good for you, Jaster. Good for you. <laughs> Maybe. If you're the real deal. All present and accounted for? My most distinguished pirates! Jorgen Goa, our great and honorable captain, has finally awakened! Company, fall in! <laughs> the captain is on the bridge! I finally get to meet him. Dorgan Goa. <laughs> Scalawags, how are things? Guess I was out for a little too long this time. Well, can't very well sleep forever. It's time we go out and fulfill my ambition. So, did we ever find the Desert Claw? Yes, he's right here. Didn't you hear me? Where's Desert Claw? Right here, sir. There you go. Desert Claw is actually just here. What? <laughs> this kid? You, you, you. You idiot! This runt ain't the Desert Claw. What? what? <laughs> but he's got to be. Just as terribly strong. There's no way. How could we be wrong on this? I know what Desert Claw looks like. And this snot nosed little whelp don't look like Desert Claw. You tricked us. Good grief. Jaster, is it true? No, I love you, Kasala. Uh, no, I just. I'm sorry. I meant to come clean sooner or later. Oh my goodness! Uh, what a frightful mess! Tie this imposter up and toss him overboard! Papa, wait! Jaster might not be Desert Claw, but he's our friend. Please, Papa, don't punish him. What? Kisala, why are you sticking up for this scurvy dog? While you were taking a nap, Jaster was a tremendous help to us. A true pirate never forgets his obligations, right? That's right. And Mr. Rogue's strength is for real. Captain, I guarantee without a shadow of a doubt, it'll be good to have Jaster around. We're begging you. Oh, let him stay in the crew, okay? Oh, now you have to pour it on. <clears throat> what a bunch of suckers. Captain! I can't hear myself think! Shut up! Scurvy dogs? Exactly whose ship do you think this is? You bunch of selfish crybabies. Jaster, was it? All right, then. I'll give you another chance. Let's see if you can prove your usefulness. Papa! That's our captain! How 
However, if you screw up, it's curtains for you. You got that, Jester? Yes, sir. I understand. What is it that you'd like me to do, Captain? Hmm. But before that... All your dogs, clean out your ears and listen good. I'm gonna tell you of my top secret plans that I've been keeping you in the dark about till now. Really, Captain? Hmm. Well, this should be entertaining. So you're finally going to tell us. It is rather odd not even to tell your crew the reason for their voyage. Come on, Papa. Out with it. My ultimate goal is the legendary lost planet of Eden. treasure to allow anyone to rule the entire galaxy yeah that's the one and they say that on that planet there are people there that live forever you're not telling me you really believe in all that hogwash are you i remember now eden suddenly vanished from our galaxy some ten thousand years ago supposedly they were even more advanced than zarad it is the utopia spoken of in legends throughout the galaxy. <laughs> you mean that old fairy tale? You can't honestly be serious. Shut up! I'm dead serious. It'll take one hell of a mission to be able to find the path to Eden and actually make it there. And that's why I ordered you to scout out the very best hunters. In other words, we are going to strip Eden bare of all its spoils. The galaxy's foremost treasures will be mine. Moncha! Aye, aye, Captain! Deadlights on the screen, mates! I take it you all know about the Geo Record. It's the galaxy's top adventure log, containing every kind of treasure. According to this, Eden has an undeniable tie to the Great Tablets. Great Tablets? Ancient Tablets. We've been looking for them for ages. I get it now. That's why you've been so obsessed with them. If my intuition is correct, the secret that will open the path to Eden is hidden on the Great Tablets. But before we can get to Eden, we've got to get our hot little hands on those tablets first. According to my sources, a huge ancient tablet was excavated from a mine on Vedan just the other day. I don't know if this is one of the tablets, but it's certainly worth investigating. The mines are controlled by the Zax Morardi family, and they ain't pleasant to deal with. <laughs> Listen up, Jaster. You're going down to Vadan to find out if that tablet is legit. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Succeed, and I'll permit you to stay. That's great news, Jester. I was a little nervous for a second there. Huh. You're not getting soft on me, are you? <laughs> Didn't you notice? Something special about him. Of all the warriors I've come across in my life, this is only the second one that's given me this feeling. Is that right? And who was the first guy? Desert Claw. The real one, that is. <laughs> Does Kasala know I'm in love with her? I mean, I don't know if Jaster's in love with her, but... I really like her.
All right, so we're gonna we're going to um to Vedan. We can actually uh. So this is Vidan. Over 40% of the galaxy's metal ore and minerals are mined here on Vidan. The vast resources available here make it one of the top mining planets. What are you, the narrator? It looks kind of dark. Uh-huh. The sun never rises in this mining sector. This place is also known as the City of Eternal Night. It's pretty. Pretty romantic, don't you think, Jester? Yes, I love you. City of Eternal Night. So? Where do we start? Well, we'll have to go to the mines if we want to check on this tablet. Most likely, they only allow authorized people to enter. We should start off by heading into town and try to find a way into the mines. Whatever you say, I'll, I'd follow you anywhere. So, we could actually choose where the Dorganark Dorgon goes now. Um, but we're on Vidan, so let's just, let's just go down there. There'll be a teleporter down there, and that will keep us from having to do this stuff again. Whoa! Okay, <laughs> I thought we were done. No, this is really cool. I wonder how far we've gotten. Yoink. Clearly a treasure chest here. Three lubricants. Thank you very much. shape and hey, what's that guy's deal nothing it's just his name is Ro Rogina or Rogena hope it all goes well or Rajana I heard yours from this plant sell at a good price I came to stock up of course I'm selling my wares too all right you're a bear dude did you know that Okay, that's fine. Divine healing electrical see if you better. Okay, uh, not worried about any of that. What I am worried about is um, getting out of here and going back. Oh wait, meanwhile, <laughs> oops. Dr. Picacho? Dr. Picacho, can you hear me? Yes, the connection is excellent, Steve. And I'm glad to see that you seem to be doing well, too. Of course I am. That's because of your brilliant design, Dr. Picacho. <laughs> so you've learned how to do flattery now, huh? That's quite an accomplishment. Listen, I'd like to make a small adjustment. Do you mind if I take control of your circuits for a while? Not at all. Be my guest. Mark, what's space like? It's fantastic and totally different than I pictured. It's like the stars go on forever and ever. I, yeah, well, I don't know what to say about that. 
But I do know to say that um, we're going to find out a little bit more about Mark, apparently, uh, when we come back. I'll see you guys for that. Bye, everybody.